Hey guys, so it's currently Friday the 31st of May, end of May, and I am starting my gigs off for the weekend today. As always, I've underestimated how much time it's gonna take me to get ready because I try and take on too many jobs at once. I was actually ready to go like dress and makeup and everything a long time ago, but then I ended up faffing with my gear for a while because quite a few of my leads have stopped working. Um, I did buy new ones luckily, but it was just, I always like to have spare, so I was just trying to find something spare to take with me and I had to go through and test which ones were working and which ones didn't, and so that took a bit more of my time. It's currently 3.45 and I'm playing in the city at five and the place I'm playing at has a bit of a tricky parking situation so I want to leave early and I'm kind of hungry so I'm gonna take a snack with me and I'm about to load up the car so let's do this. got completely soaked running back to my car and now I'm supposed to be heading to the gorilla kitchen because they're hosting an open mic night for the first time in ages but it starts in like 10 minutes so I kind of need to rush there and I also haven't eaten yet so I'm gonna eat dinner there gorilla kitchen okay my review like this is gonna be something kind of fun. well the coolest part was actually um hey guys so I didn't really end up filming anything at the Gorilla Kitchen open mic night because I was kind of in a rush and then I ate as soon as I got there and then I was also hosting the open mic night so I just wanted to be present in the moment and there were some really cool musicians there and they shared some of their original music which was super cool so I'm hoping oh lighting change <laughs> so I'm hoping that we can get more people to come along to the open mic night it's 10 past 10 now and even though that's not that late I'm really tired and I'm getting up for the craft and noon tea market tomorrow morning so I think I'm just gonna head straight to sleep
Hey again guys, it's currently 2.23. I just finished playing at the Craft and Tea Market for the last time before I head off to the UK, so that's pretty special. Um, it rained the whole time and it actually hailed near the end, so it was really loud. So you couldn't really hear my music, but it was still a really fun time. And now I have to go and head off to grab my costume because I am going to a 21st party tomorrow and I have a pretty epic costume planned, so I've got to go grab that and then I'm playing at the Hilton tonight. Hey again guys, so fast forward to now, it's 6.20. I just chilled for a bit and now I'm gonna go in and play some music at the Bellini Bar in the Hilton. Hey guys, so today is, ooh, already dropping things. So today is Wednesday, it's a very rainy day today, so I am running a lot of errands today. I have been to the gym, showered, before I went to the gym I had breakfast, I updated my website, did some emails, booked a gig for this weekend because Originally, I didn't have any gigs this Saturday. I just had Friday and Sunday, but now I've filled in a Saturday spot, which is great because I'm trying to get as many gigs as I can before I go away. I'm just putting some moisturizer on. I normally upload a video every single Wednesday, and today is Wednesday, and I haven't got a video prepared. So I'm hoping that I can film one today, but I have to go to the supermarket. I have to drop off a costume from the weekend. I went to a 21st party on the weekend. I'll put a little picture here of what it looked like, um, but it was called the Age of Enlightenment Aristocrats Ball. So we were dressed up in Marie Antoinette, 1800s, I think that's the time, dresses. Um, it was really fun. Um, I ended up eating way too much over the weekend. I had two gigs on the Friday. I had the QF Tavern on Queen Street on Friday evening and then afterwards I went to the Gorilla Kitchen open mic night and hosted that. And then on Saturday I played for the last time at Craft Noon Tea before I go away, which is a craft market that I absolutely love and I love all the people there so that was really nice and it hailed that day so it was really bad weather. And then in the evening that day I played at the Hilton in the Bellini Bar. And then on the Sunday, that's when I had the 21st party and I didn't have any gigs that day or the public holiday Monday. So it was kind of a good balance of working and also having some time to just chill out, relax. I've had a little bit of a sore shoulder, so it's kind of flared up over the weekend, but I'm getting better. Going to the physio, doing exercises regularly. So I think having those rest days really helped to ease the shoulder pain. <laughs> 
So like I said, I have some errands to run today and I'm really, really hoping that I can record a video. Obviously, I'm gonna wanna do some makeup if I am gonna record a video, just because I always like to experiment with the makeup looks in the videos. But I think the first thing I'm gonna do is make some lunch and plan out my driving direction of where I need to drop all these things off. So I have to drop off that costume like I said. I also need to pick up a microphone that I bought to go with my Zoom from Rubber Monkey. It took a while to get delivered up to Auckland so I'm gonna go pick that up. And I also wanna go and buy some little tart tins because from my Little Bird on Bakery book, I really wanna make some little tarts as a nice sweet treat. So I'm gonna do that and then head to the supermarket afterwards. So. Lots of things to do out of the house today, and it is pouring rain outside. <laughs> So I've done my makeup and it's actually stopped raining now. The sky is super blue, which is such a weird turn of events. Just shows you New Zealand weather is super sporadic and changes all the time. It was so dark before, it was like it was nighttime and now it's super sunny. So I think it's a much better time to film a video because there was thunder and lightning before, which you probably would have heard while I was recording. So I've got my little setup here. Logic is just loading on my computer. I'm just waiting for that to start up. And yeah, I'm gonna film a video. I just finished filming a video now. It took quite a few takes, but we persevered and we got it. I still need to edit it though, and it's 2.45, and I haven't run the errands that I was talking about earlier. Luckily, it's not really raining now, so I think it's probably best that I left the driving till now, because it can sometimes be a bit dodgy driving on the roads when it's super, super rainy. So I think I'm gonna leave the editing till I come back. That might be a bit risky. It might not go up at six o'clock, because I normally aim for it to be uploaded by 6 p.m. But but I'm gonna try and be as quick and efficient as possible. So I'm gonna go put my computer on charge and then I'm gonna go and run these errands. Four twenty-four. okay yes it's 4 24 in the afternoon I just finished up in Millie's which is a kitchenware shop and I got these little tins because I'm planning on making some fruit tarts or something so that'll be fun now I'm gonna head to the supermarket
Oh, just finished up at the shops and it wasn't raining at all and then I started loading my stuff into the car and it started pissing down with the rain. So now I'm all wet. And I was about to go home and walk the dog, but I don't think that's gonna happen because it's raining pretty bad now. And it's pretty dark, although I normally still walk him in the dark at this time of year because it gets dark so early. But yeah, now I'm gonna head home. Hey again guys, so it's the evening time now, starting to get a bit tired. It was a pretty busy day and I'm looking forward to having another productive day tomorrow. But I'm just putting in some bookmarks into my Little Bird Organics, what's it called? Unbakery book. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the book, I think I've shown it in my vlogs before and I've just been bookmarking some of the recipes that I want to do. Obviously I've started in the dessert section and these are the tarts that I really want to make and that's why I bought the little tart molds. So the ingredients are pretty simple and I already had quite a few of them. We just needed a top off on dates because we eat a lot of them and I didn't want to activate my own almonds at home because I don't have a dehydrator so I bought some already activated and dried almonds so yeah hopefully I'll get round to making these tomorrow so in this book everything is vegan gluten free and raw so it's never heated above I think it's 46 degrees or something like that um, but I don't have a dehydrator so I'm just working with all of the recipes that just need like a blender or a food processor or something like that I have made a couple of recipes from it so far but I'm definitely getting more into cooking recently and also baking I am a sweet food lover I have been gearing more towards savory food recently but I often like to have a sweet treat after a meal or have a sweet snack to keep me going throughout the day and I find that if I make my own I know what's going in it and I know it's healthier than just buying something sweet from the supermarket especially now eating plant-based it's just much easier for me to make my own tomorrow morning I'm getting my car windscreen repaired because it cracked I did show that in my little mini road trip vlog so I'll make sure I leave that which side of the screen is it up here somewhere and uh, then I'm heading into Takapuna because I'm getting my eyebrows done they're not too scruffy but they do get a bit weird at the top so that'll be good I'm planning on doing some editing and reading while I'm in Takapuna waiting for my car to get fixed I had leftover curry for dinner and then afterwards I put up this week's video which was Big Girls Don't Cry by Fergie. If you didn't know, I am uploading a video every single week on Wednesday, a cover video, so if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. And then afterwards, I treated myself to a little chocolate. This one is vegan and what did it say on it? This one is vegan, fair trade, organic, gluten-free, and palm oil-free, which is awesome because I have been cutting out products with palm oil where I can as well, which includes Nutella, which is super sad because I used to eat Nutella all the time. And I don't think I've had it in at least a year, maybe two years? Hmm, maybe that's ambitious, maybe a year. But yeah, this was really nice. However, it does say on the back that it's 3.25 servings which obviously it's just a guide but that tells me that it probably has a lot of sugar in it so I've just had one of the three blocks but I might end up eating all of it mm -hmm. 